So if you're like the multitude of buyers out there, you probably want to know how to convince the seller to accept your offer. Well, I'm going to give you five ways right now. Hey, this is Bill Eves, Associate Broker with Remax and Ben Salem. And I want to give you five ways that you can put your offer ahead of everybody else's. Number one, bid over what they're asking. If you're coming in and trying to wheel and deal, this is not the market to do that. Even in a buyer's market, it's really not advisable. Now, you don't want to overpay for the house. I'm not suggesting that you do. But I'm going to tell you, make the offer as high as you feel comfortable and one penny more, you don't want the house because you're not going to get a second chance. This thing of, think, you know, well, I'll come in low and then they'll go lower and it's, it's not happening. Especially in a seller's market, you got one shot. Put your best foot forward. Tip number two, make your offer as clean as possible. Now, if you have to get a mortgage, you're going to have to get an appraisal. There's no way around it. But if you're paying cash, you really don't need an appraisal unless you absolutely insist on one. Home inspections. No realtor is ever going to advise you not to get a home inspection, but the less contingencies you have in that offer, the cleaner your offer is and the more likely it is that it will be accepted. It's not just about the price. Have a strong deposit. If you're showing on your buyer financial or the information you give the seller that you have a decent amount of money in the bank, put it down on the house. Put it in the deposit. The stronger the deposit, the stronger the offer, and the more likely you are to get your offer accepted. A good tip with deposit money is if you can spare it, when all the contingencies, if there are any, are met, you can release all or some of that to the seller, gives them a little working capital, and it puts you out ahead of other people. Talk to your realtor or your lawyer about that because it is a little complicated. The next step is one of the problems that sellers are facing now is you're having trouble finding a home, they're having trouble finding a home too. Offer them a settlement and a rent back. This one option has gotten my sellers to accept more offers than any other in recent history. It gives them some breathing room to find a house of their own, which is one of their biggest concerns, probably a bigger concern than the amount of money they're getting because they need a place to go. And the fifth tip, if you're getting a mortgage, have your mortgage fully approved. Desktop underwriter, it's different than a loan officer just writing out a pre-approval. Take your loan as far as you could possibly take it. That way, your offer is a lot stronger than offers that just have a simple pre-qualification. Get as far as you can in the mortgage process as you can go without finding a house. So here's your five tips. One, make a strong offer. Make it a clean offer, contingency-free as much as possible. Have a strong deposit money and release some of that deposit money. Offer a rent back if the sellers need to find a house and have your mortgage fully approved before you actually find the house. If you'd like more tips, check out my other videos down below.